fatally shoots a suspect. Now police are saying what led up to the gunfire. Tonight, the victim's widow tells us she has had problems with their timeline. Aaron Murray leads off our coverage tonight. You're going to get shot. Get out of the car right now. These are the words spoken by an Omaha police officer just before Officer Alvin Lugod shot several times at robbery suspect Daniel Elrod. Shots fired. Send the squad. Elrod died Tuesday morning in Nebraska Medicine. Hours later, police released a timeline of what they say happened. Robbery just occurred. Family dollar store. Elrod was the suspect. Grab money, left on foot northbound on 13th. Four officers found Elrod in this sports car garage parking lot. They say they gave him loud verbal commands to show his hands and to get on the ground. They say he refused. Instead, they say he tried to crawl on the hood of a car in this parking lot. One officer tased Elrod, but it was ineffective. Officer Lugod believed Elrod to be threatening, so he shot. The suspect's wife, Amanda Elrod, disagrees. He said, I'm unarmed, and he threw his hands up. If, if a person does that, you know, uh, an officer should not shoot to kill. She intends to hire an attorney. I'll be able to see him walk through the door or hear his voice anymore. And I'll be damned if they're going to be able to get away with that. Cops say there were no witnesses. I seen it all in gold, and so did a friend of mine. John Mallory, police did not find a weapon with Elrod or at the scene. Now we did ask, we did ask Amanda Elrod about her husband being linked to the robbery here at Family Dollar, and she says she doesn't know anything about it. Reporting live with photographer Alex Hassel, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News. Officer Lugod has been with the department six years. As per policy, he is now on paid administrative leave pending an investigation. Uh, this isn't the first time. In 2012, he pulled the trigger in another fatal officer-involved shooting. A grand jury cleared him of wrongdoing.